Hi friends, welcome back. Sorry I could not upload a video for quite a long time. In future also, perhaps in for two to three months, I'll be a bit busy with my job. So, thoda thoda delay hoga. Please bear with me. But acha content aane wala hai. Please wait for it. Um, so today I'm specifically going to talk about a Be Minimalist brand. And I have seen quite a few YouTube videos and YouTubers who have been bashing it. And they say that it's a copy from ordinary. The packaging is the same. The names are the same, etc. Okay. And they uh, are talking about like India is a country of talent. One can bring or, or come up with their own ideas, etc. Yeah, I'm, I'm not denying any of the claims, but I'm here to tell you just my perspective. Um, because uh, being a YouTuber and of course a responsible YouTuber, uh, I feel we should respect the brands that are bringing quality contents and that are delivering uh, good results, okay? And, and they're, they're doing their part at least, especially in a country like India. You might remember, or at least I remember that two, three years ago, when I was starting and propagating a vitamin C serum, there was nobody who was using a vitamin C serum. And the trend later on followed on vitamin C. Back then, people used to talk about vitamin E. Now they talk about uh, uh, vitamin B3. Tomorrow, I'm going to tell you what the trend will be. It will be about uh, retinols. And after two to three years, the trend will be about copper peptides. Now only I'm telling you this. Huh? Future, you should come back. And in future, when you see all of that, you should come back and comment me in this video. Well, so the trend changes because in a country like India, nobody takes uh, things like skincare too seriously. And they don't do a lot of research also. Frankly, there are no companies. So, of course, we get uh, all the actives or good things little bit delayed compared to western countries but we do see the western youtubers and all the skincare companies and we get overwhelmed and that's how they also formulate the formulators also they see some other company formulating in the us and all and that's how they formulate here in india now it might be the case with minimalist also but i would want to tell you a few things that i know and why i personally really respect the brand well i haven't used any products from it but uh, being a cosmetic technology student and seeing the formulations etc I feel the brand is quite genuine and I always wish the ordinary came to India because I'm a huge fan of the products and the affordability and uh, the you know the effectiveness that they deliver as a brand and each product it what it is the claims are true and you see good results with ordinary so I'm happy that at least one brand in India copied ordinary frankly I'm telling you it, it did not copy it might have copied the names and all uh, I'll tell you a few examples uh, like, you know, um, uh, each each product says I have imported so-and-so from so-and-so company and country. Say Granac to Retinoid has been imported from US and uh, I'm going to talk today about specifically about multi-peptide serum. Uh, they also have in their website that so-and-so ingredients are uh, imported from there. By this, you should be knowing that in India, we will not get all of that. You have to import it from some other country. And for that, you need a hell, hell lot of paperwork and permissions. So first of all, when the brand is bringing such ingredients and making and formulating something for us, stop bashing it. Please respect it. You should be thankful that it's doing something good for us. And uh, that is, and in India, we don't get them. There are few ingredients like Snap8, Granacto Retinoid, which are manufactured in bulk in other countries. So when you add the similar, uh, that patent company, I mean, a company which makes the scientist suppose uh, creates a, uh, say he he finds, he does some research and finds a set of peptides. He would name them as SNAP8. I remember one of them. So SNAP8 and SYNC8, some SYN. So something like that they have. What happens is that company sells that patent product, ingredient, not product, ingredient to every company. It sells it to Ordinary, it sells it to Drunk Elephant, it sells it to, you know, CeraVe, whatever, you know. So if this brand is also going and bringing the products from the same company, it doesn't mean he's, he or she is copying the ingredients from Ordinary. They are bringing that patented ingredients from that so-called company, which Ordinary also sources. Okay, so first thing is that. Secondly, why I, first of all, when the brand came and everybody was talking negative about it, the first thing I've seen is Granac to retinoid serum. You might be seeing here in India, I have seen a lot of retinoid. Tretinoin is different, but I'm talking about retinol. All the retinol creams are white in color. For the genuinity of it, if you have to mark, uh, if you have to pick up few parameters for retinol to know its quality, etc., 
first one would be it should be yellow in color so the gran acto retinoid of the minimalist brand is yellow in color which shows that it has been truly and sincerely imported from us so there is no doubt in questioning it okay um other things i want to tell you is recently i have been texting the brand about uh, uh, bringing copper peptides into india because copper peptides are game changers for your scars um you know for your you know loose skin you know like for the skin like you know forming especially jaise gosh haddi chutta hai na our cheeks you know they once they were flat and now they bulge and bulge and come out that's a forming sagging problem so for them also pop, copper peptides are excellent we'll do another video i'm trying to source it from us and we'll do a separate video for that anyway i've been contacting the brand to bring them also they said they will try um but they have launched a multi peptide serum and i'm going to specifically take the example of it and talk to you so that you will have a clarity about it okay i'm comparing it with the ordinary buffet you i have shown you in my ordinary haul that i have the ordinary buffet right now with me um so yeah i'm comparing it with that one okay firstly if you see the minimalist one uh, aqua the first ingredient of course uh, for a peptide blend it has to be in water only so both of them it's aqua the second ingredient uh, dimethyl isobribide is a, a viscosity controller here the second ingredient is glycerin that is one of the reasons why the buffet that i'm using in ordinary is quite hydrating and after that you have butylene glycol in this uh, b minimalist it is also like a humectant etc next you have your peptide blend the peptide blend that is here is of course there are few similar like uh, palmitol tripeptide 1 and 7 other things if you see uh, the minimalist uses a blend of um epidermal growth factors they are called as egfs sh oligopeptide 1 2 polypeptide 1 all of them are called as um as i said uh, e epidermal growth factors how to use this serum if you anyone wants to know i will uh, tell you it can be used for scars and all it will give you beautiful results and and niche bhi kya hai it has one thing i really like about b minimalist brand is they use lecithin in all of their uh, uh, products you know now in for any product to work any product to work the delivery system is the most important thing that, that's the crux of the product so when you use lecithin and that holds to the fact that every product has to go to the dermis especially the actors for them to work so their delivery system is excellent once you have lecithin that brings the actor molecule to the dermis so they are using a different delivery system of course um these people also in ordinary also might have used okay fine for ordinary what they have used is they have used a set of amino acids like you know um valine isoleucine theurin histidine etc they are a set of amino acids there is another product from ordinary called amino acid plus b5 there you can see the same thing and both of them they uh, the min the minimalist also used a uh, uh, ferment you need to have some see you are creating an artificial a uh, skin like atmosphere in this particular serum peptide serum so they are using a bio placenta the minimalist says it it is using a bio placenta and the ordinary says it has used a lactobacillus ferment so they are using some uh, bacteria to just bring in that environment of the skin so they also use the same these people also use the same uh, have, and also at the end they have used pollen that is also um, another uh, plant based polysaccharide and uh, xanthan gum in minimalist all of that is in again um phenolphthalein ethanol is another in um, preservative etc so the formulation is quite different this particular one now you might tell me or ask me that this minimalist people have copied uh, um the ingredients of uh, drunk elephant protein that has the similar ingredients or acure radically rejuvenating cream these two are from us yeah as i told you the patented blend is the same if they buy the blend of that ingredient from one company that doesn't mean they are they are just copying some other brand etc having said that this product is going to be also one of the game changer and i wish a uh, minimalist you know brings more and more uh, products similar to ordinary at least we can use them see you should be happy that after so many years at least in india we are getting one brand which offer something which is really good of course there are so many brands now dermaco etc are also delivering nice things um new products are being launched every day 
which is appreciable in india also uh, and one thing you should be really careful about is the market is going to be flooded with the forex from now on it started of course a year ago and it's going to be flooded on and on and on and on so you also should be quite careful do not use many products in your skincare routine one or two products uh, at a time in a day suppose you're doing twice a day that's more than enough don't layer layer just because a brand is launching products don't keep on layering 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 only if you have an issue start using it so yeah i have explained you this small this small difference this one is also hydrating uh, uh, minimalist it has again sodium hyaluronate and glycerine in it and there are a lot of humectants in it so if you are using this particular polypeptide serum i'm sorry multipeptide serum use a moisturizer on top of that this is a small comparison i wanted to tell you that how the brand technology is different it's quite different from ordinary uh, the peptides ordinary only uses peptides this uses epidermal growth factors also so it's a bit different so like that everything could be different so stop bashing it and be thankful to the company if it was offensive to anybody i'm sorry um i hope this video was ethically helpful uh, to few of you thank you so much for watching